Welcome back, Keller ATA family. This is Miss Angie again, doing a drawing lesson for some of our ATA characters. Today, I'm going to be working on Mir. He represents Enwa to our blue belt. Don't forget to make your blue belt flashcards, or all of your belt flashcards, so you can memorize the name of the belt, how many moves, and the meaning behind it. There is another video on that. But today, we're going to actually learn how to draw Mir. Now, he's probably one of the harder ones to draw. Don't get discouraged. I'll help you step by step. Just remember, there's no mistakes in art. Whatever you make is beautiful because you tried your best. All right, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with his head. But because he's shaped a little bit differently, I'm not going to do the details of his face until I'm done with his body. So we're going to do the full body, but I always like to start with the head. So here we go. We're going to make kind of, you can see it's almost an upside down egg shape right here and then an oval right here. So I'm going to start with the upside down egg shape. Just like that. Can you see that? Nice egg shape. Then we're going to do an oval right about there. Okay. Now I found a picture on Pinterest. I just searched for ATA uh, tiger animals and it came up quite easily. You can do it on Google or Pinterest. Get your parent to help you and they'll help you find the right characters. So his body is very slender. He's got a little bit of a bigger chest here that works around from the neck. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit lower. His neck is much longer than I figured. And you see, you would think that's a mistake, but it's not. I was able to realize that my proportions, which means my scale, the how far away something is and where it should be, was off. I was able to fix that real quick. Body slims down really big right here. So this is about as wide as he gets right here in the chest. And then it goes really small to his and he's got one leg here and his knees right about there. Looks off, but I promise it's not. So we're gonna draw his whole little feet here. So there's one, two, three. Forget to make your sound effects. Doesn't count unless you do. That's, that's my theory. All right. Here's another knee right about here. And his body isn't like a human body. He's a dragon, so he's a little different. Okay. His knee is, it goes big toes. Big, big toes. There's that part. And now from here, I make his beautiful tail. It's kind of like a backward F, well. Look here. Right about there. All right. There we go. That is how they draw him. There's this part of his body. Fun part about his tail, he's, he's got these like little flames coming off. So cool. So you can make your own flames or you can try to match this. Doing my best to match their drawing. Yeah. Let's do his hand. He's got a nice big hand right here. And I'm just going to do the shape. 
I'm not going to worry about details until just a second because I want to get his arm nice. His arm. Oh, and then in. A little bit higher. There we go. His hand comes around like this. Like this is the back of his hand, and these are his fingers. He's got thumb here, and then there it is. I'm gonna make the little finger fine. There he is. There's his hand. Same thing over here. We're gonna come here. I'm gonna pop out his chest just. A little bit more right there. Boom. There. This one out a little bit because it's like, there's his elbow right there. So they need to come out a little bit, and then and then this is kind of like the inside of his hand. So we're seeing the palm or the inside. This side. Um, that fingers there you go now we got his body which I felt was going to be much harder than his face so now let's do his face we got all of this going into his scales right here. Are. So his head is turned a little bit to the side. One eye right here. And he's kind of got like egg shaped eyes too. They kind of come up and open like that. Almost like a half egg and then a line. It's not a hard line. It's a soft rounded line. The line helped guide me get to the right shape. This one, because it's not a full view, it's a little bit more round. Okay, and then his eyebrow. Circle. Tiny highlight. Highlight. Now, <clears throat> from here, they come out just a little bit. Here's his little nostril. This one's little nostril. Comes out just a little bit more and then comes back. See, he's not that far. Now we're going to give him a great big smile. His smile comes past his eye here and all the way there. Nice big smile. He's a friendly dragon. All of this. All right. Now he's got this great little mustache right here. A mustache. Right there. The other one is right about here. He's got this great little goatee. Now he needs his beautiful purple flare up here. He needs another. No. Here. 
Now he's got these nice little red, I don't know if these are antlers or horns. I'm not sure what this would be. I want to make sure we have part of him. It's part of what makes him who he is. My pencil is getting dull here, so this eye is not working out best for me. There we go. That's There's that. I think I have my angle here. That is not quite. All right. So there's our mirror. We just need to do a couple of finishing touches here. He needs his underbelly scale and do some lines here. It pretty much. So, guys, quick little lesson on drawing mirror. Again, blue belt, 42 moves. And I hope to see you again. Have a great day.